Hey, what's happening, guys? Jala, I'm in tech over here. Whew. This took me whole night, about three hours, man, trying to rock this thing, and it's just been driving me crazy. So if you're in this channel uh, looking at this video, you probably are stressed out, pissed up, uh, trying to access your notes on a new phone or on a different Apple device um but you're putting in your apple id password over and over even though you just recently changed it you're sure it works it works other places you can download apps but it's still for some damn reason and i'll tell you what what the reason is it is not working for your notes and the reason for that is and apple doesn't tell you this and some of us actually called them try to figure this out they make you change your password so many times um it could be the reps don't know either but it just doesn't work again so the reason is um guys is that your notes password isn't necessarily the same as your apple id password okay so i'm gonna refresh this so you necessarily just focus on that word right there so let's say you created your apple id okay you created a password you went ahead and opened your notes lock it it's gonna keep that apple id's password but here's where the separation happens let's say six months down the road okay you did the right practice went ahead and changed your apple id password okay guess what the old password that you had stays with your notes okay so now without knowing and again i fell for this hence uh staying 4 a.m in the morning trying to figure this damn thing out finally did um you will likely put in your old uh, your new password it will not work you when I, you would go ahead and change your um apple id password again and you would put it in and it would not work so you would start blaming apple say oh it's a bug or I'm losing my mind or whatever happens. But either way, it is just so damn frustrating. Okay, so I found a workaround. Hopefully this video will save you the time. I appreciate it. Uh, if it did help you at the end and you feel like it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Give me your comments down below if there's new tips that you found uh, while you added. Uh, and most importantly, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel as I'm trying to get to a uh, thousand subscribers. So I appreciate it. It will encourage me more to put more tips like this in the future if it comes across. All right. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay. So the go around this is that one, uh, your biometrics will likely work. Okay. And because, and that's how you don't actually catch it okay let's say you went ahead and changed your apple id right and the notes retain your old um apple id password okay your biometrics will still work after changing it okay because your biometrics uses different kind of verification it doesn't actually run your password right so but you can still use that actually as a bypass okay to reset or fix your notes by um, password issue and this is how you will do it so first use your biometrics on the old device unlock the notes okay i'm going to try this one more time okay it will let me access the notes right now while the as long as the notes is unlocked okay the individual notes is unlocked and if you have many you just have to do the same thing for all of them okay you will go next to the lock, the padlock on the top right corner, right underneath your battery, right? You will go ahead and hit that little um, menu button, okay? And then you want to go ahead and hit remove notes. I mean, remove lock, excuse me, okay? Once you hit remove lock, then the the locks removed on this and it might take some time uh before it populates on your uh, the rest of your apple devices okay but then what you want to do next is you go over to settings okay scroll over to notes 
okay and then look for password where it says password right here okay hit that and then hit iCloud okay and go ahead don't hit change password don't hit that and if you tried these steps it didn't work guys go ahead and turn off face id and turn it back on uh that helps uh, as a troubleshooting uh, but it likely will work so don't hit change password what you want to do is hit reset password and if you read this fine print right here it says this allows you to create a new password for notes you lock in your iCloud account from now on. And I wanna emphasize on that, from now on. Meaning, all the old notes that were already locked are not going to accept this password that you're just creating. So if you haven't changed your, pa uh, if you haven't removed the padlock, pause this video, go back and look at how I uh, removed the padlock first, and then come back and do this step, okay? Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. If you did do that step, let's continue, okay? Notes that, uh, reading on, it says, notes that already have a password aren't affected. So it's right here, okay? So again, if you haven't removed the padlock, go ahead and remove it, come back, change, uh, reset the password. So once you hit this, it's gonna take you here, you put in your Apple ID password, then you will go into the on-screen setup for uh, setting up new passwords. So the standard password, verify, and then you'll put a hint. And the hint is important. Put something that's going to remind you guys because, again, if you lose this password and you do not have a biometrics, you will lose that note. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So once you do that, you reset it. Then you can go back to the notes. Okay? Uh, and then hit that option button again at the right top right corner and then hit lock okay it's gonna maybe use your face id i would use the even just type the password in so the password that you just created instead of using your biometrics or your face id your face id or uh, thumbprint i would actually type it in just to make sure that it works okay and once you do that guys you will be all set okay it will notes will now register the new password because this new notes as far as notes is concerned this notes is new because you just added a password to it so it's going to retain that password and just do remember if you change your apple Pi, um, id password down the road it's not going to be the same as the notes okay this is actually a good thing for security reasons you don't want to use the same Apple ID password as your notes password because if someone hacks into your Apple ID, that's all they need. They can access all of your notes and sensitive information. So it's actually a good thing. I just wish that, um, you know, there was much more knowledge to it so we didn't have to struggle. But anyway, so I hope this video helped. Once again, this is Jalam in Tech. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Hopefully it's helpful. Peace.